Imagine booting into your desktop and immediately feeling that everything is faster, calmer, and more intentional. Like the system finally understands how you actually work instead of forcing you to adapt to it. That is the core idea behind KDE Plasma 6.5. Oh. A release that doesn't try to shout with flashy gimmicks, but instead quietly refines. Almost every part of the desktop experience until it feels seamless. Plasma 6.5 represents a stage of maturity where the big architectural transitions of Plasma 6 have settled. And the focus has clearly shifted toward polish, performance, consistency, and long-term usability. From the moment the desktop loads, there is a noticeable sense of smoothness. Animations feel deliberate rather than decorative. Transitions feel physically grounded. And the entire interface responds with a kind of confidence that comes from years of iteration and community feedback. At the heart of Plasma 6.5 is the continued embrace of Wayland as the primary display protocol. And this time it feels less like a technical milestone and more like a natural foundation. Wayland sessions are now the default for many users. And Plasma 6.5 treats this not as an experiment but as a first-class environment. Window behavior is more predictable, input handling is more precise, and multi-monitor setups behave with a level of reliability that used to be a pain point. Fractional scaling, which has historically been a challenge on Linux desktops, feels significantly more refined. On high DPI displays, text looks crisp, icons scale intelligently, and mixed DPI setups no longer feel like a compromise. You can move a window from a laptop screen to an external monitor and trust that it will scale correctly without blurriness or awkward resizing. Performance is one of the most noticeable improvements in KDE Plasma 6.5, especially on modern hardware but also surprisingly on older systems. The Plasma shell feels lighter, with reduced memory usage and more efficient rendering. Quinn, the window manager and compositor, benefits from ongoing optimization work that makes animation smoother while consuming fewer resources. Even when pushing the desktop with multiple virtual desktops, translucent panels, blur effects, and complex window arrangements, the system maintains a steady frame rate. This is the kind of performance improvement that doesn't just show up in benchmarks, but is felt in everyday use, where nothing stutters or lags, even under load. The visual design of Plasma 6.5 continues to evolve in subtle but meaningful ways. The Breeze theme, long known for its clean and neutral aesthetic, has been refined further. Colors feel more balanced, contrast is improved for readability, and UI elements are more consistent across applications. Buttons, sliders, and toggles share a unified visual language that makes the desktop feel cohesive. The goal here isn't to reinvent the look of KDE, but to perfect it, ensuring that nothing feels out of place. Dark mode, in particular, benefits from improved contrast and color tuning, making it easier on the eyes during long sessions without sacrificing clarity. Plasma 6.5 also leans heavily into customization, which has always been one of KDE's defining strengths, but now with a renewed emphasis on usability. Customization options are still incredibly deep, but they are better organized and more discoverable. The system settings application feels cleaner and more logical, guiding users through configuration without overwhelming them. You can fine-tune nearly every aspect of the desktop, from panel behavior and window focus rules to animations and workspace layouts, yet the defaults are good enough that many users may never feel the need to change much at all. This balance between power and approachability is one of Plasma 6.5 feet seconds greatest achievements. Panels in Plasma 6.5 are more flexible and intelligent. Whether you prefer a traditional bottom panel, a Maco style dock, or something entirely custom, Plasma accommodates it effortlessly. Panels can auto-hide more smoothly, respond better to screen edges, and adapt dynamically to different screen sizes. Widgets within panels feel more responsive and visually integrated, and the overall panel experience feels less like a collection of add-ons and more like a core part of the desktop. The system tray, often an overlooked component, has been refined to better manage notifications and background services, reducing clutter while keeping important information accessible. Virtual desktops and activities receive thoughtful improvements in Plasma 6.5, reinforcing KDE's reputation as a productivity powerhouse. Virtual desktops are smoother to navigate, with transitions that feel natural rather than distracting. Keyboard shortcuts are more responsive, 
and the overview effect provides a clear, organized view of your workspace. Activities, one of KDE's more advanced and sometimes misunderstood features, feel more approachable in this release. They integrate more cleanly with the rest of the desktop, making it easier to separate different workflows without unnecessary complexity. For users who juggle multiple projects, contexts, or roles on the same machine, this can be a game changer. Application integration is another area where Plasma 6.5 shines. Qt6 provides a modern foundation that allows KDE applications to feel faster and more consistent. And Plasma 6.5 builds on this with better theming and behavior across the ecosystem. Core applications like Dolphin, Console, and System Settings feel more polished and responsive. Dolphin, the file manager, benefits from subtle performance improvements and UI refinements that make file operations feel instant and intuitive. Console remains one of the most powerful terminal emulators available, and in Plasma 6.5, it integrates even more smoothly with the desktop, respecting color schemes and scaling settings perfectly. One of the quieter but most impactful aspects of Plasma 6.5 is its focus on accessibility. KD has always taken accessibility seriously, and this release continues that tradition with improvements that benefit a wide range of users. Screen reader support is more robust, keyboard navigation is more consistent, visual cues are clearer throughout the interface. High contrast themes and adjustable font settings are easier to configure, ensuring that users with different needs can tailor the desktop to suit them. These changes might not grab headlines, but they make Plasma 6.5 a more inclusive and user-friendly environment. Power management and battery efficiency see meaningful gains as well, particularly for laptop users. Plasma 6.5 does a better job of balancing performance and power consumption, extending battery life without sacrificing responsiveness. The power management settings are clearer, making it easier to understand what the system is doing and why. Notifications about battery status feel less intrusive and more informative, giving you the information you need without constantly interrupting your workflow. For users who rely on Linux laptops for work or travel, these improvements can make a noticeable difference. Plasma 6.5 also demonstrates KDE's commitment to stability and long-term support. While it introduces refinements and enhancements, it avoids unnecessary disruption. Configurations from earlier Plasma 6 releases carry over smoothly, and users upgrading from Plasma 5 environments generally find the transition manageable and rewarding. The desktop feels like it has reached a point where the major architectural changes are behind it, allowing the community to focus on refinement rather than constant reinvention. This sense of stability is crucial for users who depend on their system for serious work. Under the hood, Plasma 6.5 benefits from ongoing cleanup and modernization of the code base. This translates into fewer bugs, better maintainability, and a more predictable development path. Developers benefit from clearer APIs and improved tooling, which in turn leads to higher quality applications and extensions. The Plasma widget ecosystem continues to thrive. With many widgets updated to take full advantage of Plasma 6's capabilities, this means users have access to a rich library of extensions that feel native and well integrated, rather than like third-party hacks. Gaming on KDE Plasma 6.5 is also a noticeably better experience. Wayland improvements, better GPU handling, and smoother compositing contribute to lower latency and more consistent performance. When combined with modern Linux gaming technologies, Plasma 6.5 feels like a desktop that can handle both work and play without compromise. Full screen applications behave predictably, all tabbing is smooth, and the desktop stays responsive even when the system is under heavy load. For gamers who prefer Linux, this release reinforces KDE Plasma as one of the best desktop environments available. Security and privacy are treated with quiet seriousness in Plasma 6.5. Permissions and system prompts feel clearer. And the desktop does a better job of communicating what applications are doing without overwhelming the user. While Plasma remains highly flexible and open, it also respects the need for transparency and control. Network settings, device permissions, and background services are easier to understand and manage, powering users to make informed decisions about their system. Perhaps the most impressive thing about KDE Plasma 6.5 is how cohesive it feels. Every part of the desktop seems to speak the same design language 
and follow the same philosophy. There is a sense that this is not just a collection of features, but a carefully considered environment designed to support real workflows. Whether you are a developer spending hours in terminals and code editors, a creative working with graphics and media tools, or a general user who just wants a fast and beautiful desktop, Plasma 6.5 adapts to you. The community aspect of KDE is also reflected strongly in this release. Many of the refinements in Plasma 6.5 are the result of user feedback and collaborative development. Small annoyances that users have complained about for years are quietly resolved, and long-standing rough edges are smoothed out. This responsiveness to community input is one of KDE's greatest strengths, and a key reason why Plasma continues to improve with each release. As you spend more time with KDE Plasma 6.5, you begin to appreciate the philosophy behind it. It doesn't try to force a specific workflow or aesthetic on you. Instead, it provides a solid, well-designed foundation and invites you to shape it according to your needs. The defaults are sensible and polished, making it easy for newcomers to feel at home. While the depth of customization ensures that power users never feel constrained, this duality is rare and difficult to achieve, yet Plasma 6.5 manages it with confidence. In many ways, KDE Plasma 6.5 feels like a statement of intent for the future of the Linux desktop. It shows that open source software can deliver a user experience that is not only competitive with proprietary systems, but in many cases, superior in terms of flexibility, transparency, and user control. It proves that performance and beauty don't have to come at the cost of freedom and that a community-driven project can produce a desktop environment that feels cohesive, modern, and reliable. By the time you shut down your system or step away from your desk, Plasma 6.5 leaves a lasting impression. Not because it overwhelmed you with new features, but because it quietly got out of your way and let you focus on what you wanted to do. It's the kind of desktop that fades into the background in the best possible way, supporting your work, your creativity, and your daily tasks without demanding constant attention. K-Day Plasma 6.5 isn't just another update. It's a refinement of a vision that has been years in the making, and it stands as one of the most complete and compelling desktop experiences available today.